I wanted to talk about this particular question that gets brought up sometimes about the one who dies in a car accident. Can they be considered a shaheed, a martyr or not? And, you know, particularly when in the COVID era, there was this question about, um, you know, uh, if a person dies as a result of COVID-19, are they a shaheed or not? And Mufti Muntasar Zaman wrote a beautiful paper uh, about that, um, an article about that question. And we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts all of those that die due to COVID. as shahada Allahumma ameen. But particularly when it comes to a person who dies in a car accident, can we consider them a shaheed or not? And there are a few hadith to go through. One of them, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in a hadith from Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, al-shuhada'u khamsa. He said that the shuhada, the martyrs, are five. And he said, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, al-mat'oon, the one who dies as a result of a of a plague, al-mat'oon, the one who dies as a result of a stomach disease, wal-gharq, uh, the one who dies in a drowning accident, so the one who dies due to drowning, and the Prophet said, وَصَاحِبُ الْهَدْمِ وَالشَّهِيدُ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ And the one who dies due to a falling structure is crushed. صَاحِبُ الْهَدْمِ And uh, the one who dies in the battlefield is a shaheed, is a martyr for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in other narrations, the Prophet mentioned uh, the woman who dies uh, giving birth or in the process of giving birth or while she's nursing um, in, in, in those stages is also considered a martyr. Now, obviously, the person who dies in the battlefield is superior to all and is the purest form of shahada. But the Prophet ﷺ talked about these other forms of shahada. And the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, you know, the virtue of asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the reward of shahada and that a person could even die in their sleep and that they could be granted that reward if they are sincere as they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that reward. But I want to speak particularly to the car accident because so many of us have lost people that we love due to a car accident. And obviously cars did not exist at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. So do they fall in the category, in any one of these categories, uh, as shuhada, as martyrs? And the answer to that question is that many scholars said that sahibul hadm, the one who is crushed by something, would include, bi'ithnillahi ta'ala, would include the one who dies in a car accident as well. And the common cause that the Prophet Sallallahu or the or the uh, you know the commonality of these different forms of shahada, these different forms of death that the Prophet Sallallahu is mentioning is that these are traumatic sudden deaths um, of, of different people. And so it's not the specifics of how they die, but people fall into these buckets of you know these these traumatic forms of death, these very hard forms of death, and that a car accident would certainly be Idn Nahi Ta'ana be considered amongst those forms of shahada, that we would consider that a person that is crushed by something or hit by something um, that causes their their death. And obviously, you know, there, there is a, a hope that we should have in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a, a husn al that we should have in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a good expectation and assumption that we should have in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bi ta'ala, we pray that they are considered from the shuhada. And so for those beloved brothers and sisters that have lost their family members to these car accidents, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala consider your loved ones to be from the shuhada and give them the full reward of shahada.